Alright guys, what is up and welcome back to Gary's Mod. Today we are in this lovely forest as you guys can see. A pretty nice looking forest, I have to admit, even a little campsite with a little campfire going on in the tents. It's all very nice, but guys, as b before the video starts, I just want to say, well, there's two things actually. One, this is kind of a personal thing, but uh, I actually it did something I never thought I would do. I actually started stretching my ears, which I'm at 14 gauge, if you guys do not know that. Basically, stretching is just, it's a piercing where you put a taper in, it stretches your earlobe, and you fit bigger jewelry in your ear lobes. That's basically it. So yeah, I'm at 14 gauge, it's pretty cool, pretty exciting, pretty scary. Never really done that kind of stuff before, but yeah, so that's pretty awesome. Next up is more gaming related, because that was, that stretching thing was just out of nowhere. Yeah. Next up, guys, my graphics card that I ordered, known as the... GTX Titan X. Now this is, well right now at least, at the time of this recording, is the fastest GPU or graphics processing unit that is sold in stores, that you can buy period. It's not technically the fastest graphics card because there's like the R9 295X2, which is technically a dual GPU configuration, which means it's faster because it's two GPUs working in Crossfire, yada yada, it's cheaper. That's a good card. I'm not a big fan of SLI or Crossfire unless it's like for high, high, high-end GPUs, like two Titan X's, for instance, which I wouldn't do because that's total overkill. But anyway, it'll be coming in tomorrow, guys. That means bigger, better videos. I, and you, you guys also know what that means. More games. Because I did not buy a Titan X, a $1,000 graphics card, to play Gary's Mod. <laughs> now, I actually do have a 780, which is perfectly fine for any other video game. But I like to go overkill, so if you guys want to let me know what games you want to see, and I will for sure do that, expand outwards. What do you guys think about GTA? I have GTA 5, I've put almost 100 hours into it already, and I'm pretty damn excited to play that game, so let me guys, or let, yeah, let me guy. <laughs> let me know what do you guys think. I will love to do videos on that game with my friends and such. And uh, so yeah, let's get on to the video. So anyway guys, sorry for that long, long intro. Today we will be doing the knife mod, suggested by this awesome dude down below. He goes by the name Slenders. Thank you, Slender. I think it's Slender Spaps. Your name is it's an interesting name, by the way. I love it. I think you have a spy as your picture, which spy is awesome, by the way. Uh, but yeah, he said his friend made this this mod modification of knives, and here they are, guys. So we're going to test them out. We're in the wilderness. It's a perfect setting. Let's get on to it. All right, guys. So first off is the Huntsman knife. So right off the bat, guys, I have to admit these knives are highly detailed. Look at that reflection. I mean, I would cut me open something with this. I don't know what I would cut open. I mean, I don't know. Squirrel? I don't know. I love squirrels, so I wouldn't eat a squirrel, but... I don't know, if I had to. But anyway, guys, I'm going to demonstrate to you guys, also while kind of exploring this map a little bit, because this is, this is a beautiful map. This is a very beautiful map. We are going to cut some things up. So left click is the standard slash, you know, pretty standard. Looks pretty repetitive. You know, left click. Right click. Right click is kind of more of a faster slash, and you can also throw the knife, as well as alternating between the slashes. Now I'm not too sure why this is actually happening on this map, there's like some bright areas in the water, we're just going to try to ignore that though. Alright, so we're going to go over here to A, because I do, I do believe this is a Counter-Strike map, which by the way, a very, very damn beautiful Counter-Strike map. So this looks like a place to kill Odessa, at least up here. Okay, uh, sure, let's do it right here. Alright guys, so we've gone through like two or three minutes in the video without killing someone. There's something very wrong here. So first off, what we were going to do, we're going to cut this guy in half. Well, not really in half because it's a knife. But anyway, let's see what happens. Okay, so you guys can see the hit marker I do have installed. Well, technically they're hit numbers. So, oh, oh my god! I didn't expect him to fly that far! Odessa, are you okay? No, I, I think we should we should probably just leave him in the woods. Okay, let's get up here. This looks like a much better vantage point. Indeed. This is a perfect place to kill someone. Alright, let's try that again. One slash. Okay, so it's kind of hard to see because it's so close. I'm going to say 37 damage every time with the left click, which is pretty good. Let's try the right click. Ooh. Critical hit. That's pretty cool. The right click is a critical hit and an instant kill. As you guys can see. Uh, ooh. Okay. Alright, you gotta get pretty damn close. Oh my god! What the hell is in this knife explosives? So as you guys, as you guys can see, this these knives don't mess around. So that is the, uh, what is this? 
The Huntsman. Next up is the Huntsman Boreal Forest. That's going to be a perfect setting. Ah, right, here's the forest knife, and again, I love the excessive detail on this knife. The camouflage looks amazing. The jagged edges on the top of the knife look good. It all looks very nice. The handle looks pretty cool. I love the curve. So we're going to stab someone. All right, of course it's our death. Let me try to get behind him. If he lets, oh, oh. Okay, he turned around. Oh. Well, still counts. Oh, hello. Uh, eh, wait. What? Okay. Anyway, today we will be uh, demonstrating something pretty unique. I'm going to try to. Well, the right, the right click stab is like the critical hit. It's like an instant kill, no matter what. We're going to try to knock him into another NPC and see if he dies from the ragdoll collision. Oh God. Nope. Yeah, you do that. Oh, stand still. Ouch. Next up, guys, we have the Crimson Web. And this is like the knife that Spider-Man would have if he had a knife. But I don't think he needs one because he has web shooters. But anyway, this looks like something that would easily kill something because it's a knife. All right, guys, so I have moved to a more secluded part of the forest, if that's even possible. You hear the lovely ambient sounds. The trees glistening in the wind, and by glistening I mean just sitting still because they're static. But that's okay, it, it is Gary's mod, guys. The grass is kind of moving though. So we're going to try to kill an antlion. Let's see how what this thing does. Okay, so it's pretty good. Again though, the range is significantly lowered compared to like a standard melee weapon. At least I do think so. Yeah, look at that. Let's, ooh, oh, I can't hit it. Alright, now I can't hit it. Let's switch to the crowbar. I can hit it from here, as you can see. So the range isn't the best, guys, but that's okay. Next up is the Fade Knife, and this is probably my favorite so far, guys. I love this. Let me see if I can get into the light with this. I love how this knife looks. Look at that. Those colors. They really complement each other. So we're going to stab someone, because that's all we have is knives. But we're not going to stab them in the, in the traditional sense. We're going to stab them by throwing it as a projectile. And what better way than to throw it at a goddamn combine? Whoa. Okay, so I think it's our... Ha-ha! Critical hit! So as you guys can see, you guys can't throw the knives. Obviously, you can pick them back up, I think. Yes, you press E, pick them back up, just like that. They have lovely pictures. All right, let's try to throw it at this tree. Uh, yeah, this tree. All right. Hoo! That is so cool! Okay, so it's not technically going through the tree, but that's not the knife's fault. As you guys can see, perfectly works. It looks really good when you throw it. I'm going to try a long-range throw. To answer your question, love sick, yes I am. And uh hello. <laughs> I apologize for that. I must go offline just for the uh video purposes, but anyway. Alright. Let's see if I can land this and not fail. I failed. I failed. Oh, last one was it! Right in the face, I think. Let me check. I don't know, but it was oh I, I don't know. Oh, that's so cool. Look at that. That's definitely going to be in the thumbnail. I take that back, guys. This is my new favorite knife, the Knight. Oh, yeah. I'm in love with anything lunar, you know, anything knightish. Thus my name, Necros, which is Latin for death, I do believe. But I spell it with a C because I'm a tryhard. I'm just kidding, guys, but anyway, yes, this is the night blade. Looks beautiful. I love the black and the silver on the blade. It's very nice. All right, we're going to come back here, and I will actually try to stab Odessa. Yeah, let's do that. We haven't stabbed him. Spawn one. All right, I'll try to sneak up on him. Go off. Far cry on this. Which, by the way, if you guys would like to watch me play that game with my friends, Far Cry 4 at least, uh, I would love to. Anyway, yeah. Pretty effective. It doesn't really stick to them. It kind of just bounces depending on, I guess, the velocity, the way I throw it, and where I throw it, and what it even hits. So, yeah. Now, I will admit, I am curious to see how far he will fly. Let's try this. Oh, my God! He made it over the river! Are you serious? Oh, right, you know what? Let's take it a step further. All right, guys, here we go. Will he make it to the other side? Wow, what is in this knife? Last but not least, guys, is the slaughter knife. I do love this design again. All these designs are amazing. The, the creators of this mod are just, they love, they, love, they love putting attention to detail, and that's something I highly appreciate. So just to, uh, uh, let's see, actually. Okay, so I, I, th 
<laughs> the sound, <laughs> the sounds they make. I think it does. This, ooh. Okay, the damage. Ooh, that was a suggestive moan. Uh, anyway. Odessa, he or she. Okay, so yes, yeah, the damage varies a little bit from like I want to say 31 to like 27, at least from what I've seen. So that's pretty interesting. So yeah, guys, that's basically just a nice quick overview of this knife mod. I am a huge fan of this, guys. Uh, I love knives, and uh, that makes me sound like a psychopath. Ooh, I love knives. No, I'm just kidding, guys. Knives are cool, you know. They're cool. They're good for hunting, and uh, they're multi-purpose, obviously. And the best thing is, is that this mod, well, it's free, yeah, yeah, take that Skyrim, They're f it's free, F-R-E-E. -E. But anyway guys, yeah, I'm not a big fan of the whole paid mod thing, but I do love to support, I would love to support mod creators, because they make amazing things like this knife mod, and oh, first hit. And yeah guys, so that's going to conclude the video, if you guys did like this video, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you want, you can subscribe for more videos just like this. And follow me on Facebook and Twitter down below. I will put links down there as well as the mods I used in this video. Which so far I do believe are the map and these knives. Big thing. Ooh, god rays. Not, not very good god rays, but god rays in general. But yeah, guys, I'll put everything down there. And uh, that's basically going to end the video. Leave suggestions down below. And tell me if you guys want to see me play GTA 5. Because I would love to play GTA 5. I've been so in love with that game so far. Or if there's any other game you guys want me to play, just let me know down below. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, farewell.